Would you like to see a nice way of remembering all of the derivatives that you need in the second year for the A-level maths? Yes, you would. Good. Okay, so there are 10 of them. Sine, cos, tan. And then what I want, is, I'm going to write them in a specific order. So I'm going to write sine and cos and tan like this. Now underneath here, I want the reciprocal of tan. So that's cot. And then I want sec here. And I want cosec here. Okay. Now, the other four are a to the x and e to the x. And the inverse of e to the x, which is ln x. And the one that's like a to the x, but the other way around, x to the a. But we don't usually use an a, do we? We don't usually say x to the a. We usually say x to the n. Right, these are the only 10 things you need to be able to differentiate. And this is how I recommend you learn it. So this line here, they all start with c. If A starts with a C, there is a negative at the front. If it doesn't start with a C, there is no negative at the front. Right, pretty easy to remember that sine goes to cos and cos goes to sine. And then the one that's negative is the one with the C at the front. Right, now these are the ones that students muddle up, tan, cot, sec and cosec. Here's a nice way to remember it. Both of these are going to be squared. Both of these are going to be two different functions. I don't think I've left myself enough room. I have to write really, really small. Maybe that's a way of remembering it. You have to squish it in really, really small here. There's two functions there and two functions there, and these are squared. Now, say you can't remember what thing squared is the derivative of tan. It's that one, sec. What if you can't remember what the derivative of cot is? It's that one, cosec. Sec, squared. Cosec, squared. Okay, what if you can't remember what the double thing is? First, oh, look, I didn't put an x on there, and I didn't put an x on there. That's bad. Right, what if we can't remember what goes here? Well, the first one is just the same, so that's pretty easy. That's the first function. So the derivative of sec is sec times something. Derivative of cosec is cosec times something. Now you can't remember what the other word is that goes there. Well, you know how I knew what the derivative of tan was? It was sec squared. What's going here is tan. So there's a nice little relationship between the two of them. Sec x tan x. So derivative of tan is sec x squared. Derivative of sec is sec x times tan x. Derivative of cot is minus cosec squared. Derivative of cosec is minus cosec times cot. Nice little pattern. And the more you write it out, the more that that pattern makes sense. Now, derivative of x to the n, that's obviously easy. n x to the n minus 1. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Derivative of a to the x is a to the x ln a. And the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So those are your derivatives that you need to learn. Write them out, write them out, write them out a million billion times. And I hope that this method with the little tricks of the starting with C as a minus sign and the patterns in the derivatives will help you to remember them.